hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing fine i hope you guys are doing okay so today i'm going to show you guys how to use vu framework to generate payloads to metexploit all right vu is an a little bit old um framework like 2015 if i'm not wrong and it's used to generate payloads to use with metexploit so the first thing we have to download it because it don't come with color now i have already the value okay so to download it you just git clone https and then github.com slash value framework dot slash value dot git okay dot git and then just press enter as I told you guys I already have it on my computer so let me do something <coughs> uh, mkd wave frame work ok so so cd view frame work now git clone https github.com slash view <coughs> framework slash view dot git I press enter and it's cloning view so ls view now how do we install view alright cd view ls so cd config ls so we run setup right and we can use like setup dot sh force silent okay and it's going to run and going to install it's going to install value framework and it's going to install python um, modules to convert python to exe to executable files and ruby also right to convert ruby to exe files so now as i told you guys i already have it on my computer uh, well this video is not about how to deliver a payload it's not a social engineering video it's just to show you guys how to use VU framework to generate payloads and use it with metexploit alright so I'm going to back to my home folder CD VU alright so to call VU we just let me show you guys so to call VU we just dot slash value.py and press enter now uh, I'm using the version 3.1.14 uh, here we have main menu we can see that we have two tools loaded all right uh, available tools we have the first one is evasion and the second one is ordinance and then over here we have available commands the exit command will just exit value framework the info will bring us the information about a specific tool like if I, we get info1 like this info1 will show us generate antivirus avoiding executables okay and then we have list to list the tools we have we have the update option all right to update value as i'm using the last version the latest version i don't need to update so i'm not going to use this command and then we have the use command to use a specific tool like use one for evasion now we enter it the evasion menu all right the view evasion menu so we have forward one payloads loaded and then here we have the following commands back we back to the main menu where we have the list of two tools 
we have the check with virus total it means like after we generate the payload we could check the hash using this command that's going to load virustotal.com and they will check a scan against the hash of this payload <coughs> we have the command clean that's going to clean everything generated after um, we created the payload we have the exit command that's complete uh, completely exit the value back to the Kali Linux terminal as normal we have info that we can use to check about the payloads information we have list command that's going to list all the payloads we have over here and we have the use command alright so first command we are going to give is list so here we have a list <coughs> of payloads auto in show code right and then we have auxiliary and then we have C language metropreter right we have C sharp we have Golang and we have Lua Peer PowerShell Python and we have many others okay like we have Ruby uh, reverse HTTP reverse HTTPS reverse TCP uh, show code inject so we have a few of them <coughs> now we are going to use a PowerShell okay I'm going to use the PowerShell number 22 PowerShell metapreter reverse tcp.py so use first info 22 and here we have all the information about this payload over here we have bad max files, we have L host, the, the listener, we have the L port, the listening port. Okay, we have min minimum browse then browsers are two and then sleep time. Okay, we ha we can we can set up it to sleep and then now we can wake it up later, so I'm we are not going to do that. Alright, so user prompt files, okay, window pops up. Uh, prior to payload, no, we don't need to do that and check for no VM process that's going to check if the virtual machine pro uh, or a real machine, alright so we're going to use 22 press enter now here we have other commands like back, we are going to back to the list okay, to the list before and then we have the exit to exit fail as the same before we have the generated generate command after we set up everything on the payload we can generate type generate and then it's going to generate a payload for us we have the options to see the options of the shell code and we have the set uh, if you guys pay attention it looks like a lot with metexploit with msf console right when we set up a exploit mode handler and then uh, use payload windows or powershell it looks like a lot right so let's do it set l host 192.168.79.139 perfect now set l port 443 press enter now I already did what I needed so I'm going just to generate it okay generate and press enter so here is going to ask us for the name and the, the full name is payload so I'm going to type here obelix All right so press enter and then it's going to generate for us the payload now pay attention for one more thing the language was PowerShell. The payload module was is PowerShell metapreter reverse TCP. PowerShell doesn't compile, so just get get a text. Perfect. Now source code right in two, and then here we have the place where it's uh, created. Now it's the most nicest thing we can see in Vue that it creates a metexploit resource file 
so we can just copy it over here Control shift plus C and then I'm going to open here MSF console and we can use a command name resource and then the second turn my computer's battery is going it's dying so we can call the resource command resource and then control shift V and then it's here let me see something and now we started already listening right the reverse CP here mode handler and then set it up okay so I'm going to come to this play I'm going to take this command here I'm going to control shift plus C and then I'm going to open a new tab sudo cp paste here and then var www.html press enter oh. so what we did was we just copied let me see oh, cannot no such file or directory something went wrong so cd var cd LSCD var I don't like when it happened I'll leave LSCD veil LSCD output LS so CD compiled if I'm not wrong let me see there source CD source LS. So here we have so hmm, generated this file. What I did wrong there? I think I oh yeah, I did some something wrong by mistake. So let me see how I'm going to this problem uh, because it's not going to let me copy it. Uh, let me see sudo cp obelix dot path to bar www html yeah, it's not going to let me so let me I'm going to rename it manually and I just have to find the directory right. so var 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 lib Sometimes it's not so easy. Uh, output source. Or is it here? Rename. Okay. Sorry for that, guys. So I'll ask sudo cp of legs. Okay, we copied to the HTML folder or server folder, web server folder. So now I'm going to open my browser 192.168 slash obelix.bat. Press enter. And then, of course, as I told you guys, this is not a video to show you guys how to deliver that right or how to obfuscate is just show you guys how to use VU framework with a met exploit so I'm going to keep it anyway All right and I'm going to open the folder and I'm going to execute the bat so here is going to give us the message remembering this is not how to deliver how to obfuscate all right and I'm going to make a video about that too. So this is how just to use MSF console with VU to create your payload. So sessions here, sessions E1, and then we can interact here. Um, LS. Let me see. Here we have the 
desktop in and back the file we just created here okay this is the time we created it so we can check here right so this is a very simple video about view how to use that and you can try main payload as you want probably because view it's not a new framework so it has his own signatures this uh, the value payloads are, read, are known by the antivirus solutions and the protection endpoints like firewalls, EDR, EDX, EDM and many other protection solutions, right? So, but you can try and then you can obfuscate your payload. The value helps you to facilitate right the connection you just have to create it and then open and mess met exploit and then run the resource command and then paste the source point or the destin folder or the source folder with the code rc the file rc and then it's going to start the the payload for you the listener for you and what else uh view you, you can use ordnance okay i don't use too much because it doesn't work well so you can generate many as you want powershell if you guys remember we did it with txt we saved as txt and it worked perfectly well you we got connection right we can do this also with view you, you guys can try it okay so view will make your life easier and also when you take some exam like a certification uh, if you know just met exploit will be not enough so we have to know more uh, frameworks like Feu, Empire, met exploit and many others like Armitage, Cobalt Strike and others right uh, Armitage is very simple it's a GUI uh, you have like a graphical interface so it's very easy just click and drag, drag and drop so it's very easy okay but for now that's it guys I hope you guys like it all right it's just an introduction to view introduction to value to value framework okay and how it works so thanks a lot for watching the video and I hope you guys like it so if you like it just give me a like and share this video subscribe to my channel as always I ask so see you guys